please be considerate and don't talk during the show. I almost had it, guys. Joanne, can we get a chopstick situation? There's a freaking fly Lee in here. You know, <sighs> we may have to have another episode of Bruce Lee. He's my student. He's my student. You know, I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> <You know? sighs> back in the day, back in the future, Mark. You know, when I was doing it, when he was just a little boy, I was his sensei. There and you know mainland China. I didn't do a racist thing. I just was there, a white faced. You know, they're like, look at who's the look at Round Eye. Yep, that's me. I was Round Eye. I went out there doing it. <laughs> Round Eye McGee. I went. I ye. I said, listen, I got a little something for you, Bruce Lee. It's called the one inch punch. I did it with my finger though. I didn't do my fist. I did a finger. <sighs> They still talk about me. Round eye. I think that's, you know, a compliment. I'm not really sure. I don't know. Guys, sometimes I'm not really sure. Like, I, I, I don't speak the language, you know? So I was like, round eye. Yeah, I'll do it. You know, that must be a good thing. Yeah. Everybody was saying it, so I was like, yay, round eye. I'm doing it. They put me on their shoulders going, round eye, round eye. I'm like, yay, I did it. I'm round eye. You know? Give me a statue. You know. Greatest sensei ever. Round eye. If you go to the Takahashi Hall of Fame, you know, for Bruce Lee's memorabilia, sensei, you know, is there. Round eye. Everybody wanted to gather around and take a photo next to the statue of round eye. He's just maybe a legend at this point. You know? They're like, there's no way there was such a guy named Round Eye. <laughs> the Sensei. Doing it for Bruce Lee. One inch punch. No, I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm sorry, no. Round Eye McGee. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, Joe? No, Joanne, your wheeze is obnoxious. <sighs> you know, when you get the call, we got this this kid. We want you. He's gonna protege you. You know. What, what? Tell me about him. The kid's quick, very quick. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you if he's quick or not. Where are you gonna be? Down at the Corner Street Gym. Show up at the Corner Street Gym. You're gonna see this little kid. What's his name? I want to hear his name now before I bother going. His name is Bruce Lee. <laughs> Sounds like a stupid name. <laughs> I'll come down and check him out though. Round eye out. You know, I showed up at the gym. Round eye, round eye. I came in. You know, I'm doing high fives with everybody. Round eye. That was the best, you know? Sensei round eye. You know, McGee. We won that year. You know. Statue. Takahachi, you got to go and check out the Takahachi Hall of Fame if you want to see the, the round eye statue and go take a picture with it. Send it to the Renaissance Man show. I will put it up. Here's the, I'll make, making a deal with you. You go to the Takahachi Hall of Fame. You go take a picture in front of the freaking round eye museum statue like this. And you got a picture like that. You send it in. I'll make it my cover photo for two months. Takahachi. Yeah, round eye. Look at he's there. And the, remember the, the the pose that that I had is round eye, Whoa, like that. That was it because I gave like the he was ready for the one inch punch. I was like Whoa, like that, and uh, that's where you have to go with it when you're at the Takahachi. And you could get in front of it. So you, I, most people get in front of the hands. You know what I mean? And one person, somebody's like doing a high five with me. It was kind of funny, you know. Round eye. I do a heck of a high five. as round eye. When I was being, again, chanted in, they're chanting me in as round eye <laughs> to go and check out Bruce Lee. I'll do it. You know what I mean? Like, I'll do it. But, like, you don't have to chant me in. You know, just be like, hey, round eye, what's up? Why don't you take a seat? Bruce Lee's here. 
Who's freaking Bruce Lee? Four-year-old kid, lightning fast. <laughs> Check him out. All right, where do you want me to sit? Right there? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm round eye. I can't sit there. This is not appropriate for round. I mean, I got to be like right there in front of Bruce Lee if you want really to get my opinion on his talent. Oh, yeah, no, that's better. I'll go over there. What's that, Joe? No, Joanne, you're wheeze. Keep it down. We're watching a guy named Bruce Lee. Bro, Joanne's even there with round eye. He was, she was a, a junior assistant at that time. Her wheeze was a little lighter, and she didn't have the humongocarditis going on, so she was able to move around through doors. Now, no good. She can't go through a doorway anymore. Anyway, guys, there's nobody better than Sensei Round Eye. Like, when, when they still, Hall of Fame style. Remember, make sure you're looking them up at Takagachi Uchi and do it. When you take the picture, send it in. It's going to be the banner of the At The Brink show. You know what I mean? Come back from the brink. You know, you come back from the brink when you see the Takagachi Hall of Fame photos. Everybody's dead at. You have to fight when you get there because everybody there's like such a line. <laughs> they're charging now. Yeah. At first they were doing it free and now they're charging. Round eye. When you're there and you're round eye and you show up and you're like, guys, I was back to the future, Mark. You don't realize this? I went back in time. I showed up. I was since I round eye. When I got in there, they were chanting me in. I was like, I don't want this life to end. <laughs> went to 2769. They're like, brief us. Met some stupid little kid, four year old. They call him Bruce Lee. You ever heard of him? They're like, yeah, he's the greatest of all time. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? I was making fun of him the whole time. You guys didn't tell me I was going to see Bruce Lee. Like, he's good. What are we talking about over here? I neck chopped that little kid. You know, he thought he was quick. I had to just give him a lesson from Round Eye. You know, he wanted to be trained. I'm sorry, sir. You can get mad at me for neck chopping Bruce Lee. Like I didn't know who the frig he was. You guys didn't tell me before. You got to brief me before you sent me back in time to be Sensei Round Eye. That's the problem when you're dealing, you know, with a future situation. Sometimes they want you to be surprised, you know. Well, then that's on them, you know. I neck chop Bruce Lee. So did it <laughs> happened i also taught him the one inch punch don't forget that sensei round eye by men and don't forget your freaking speed stick <laughs> right if you don't go with the speed stick out there running around antiperspirant guys wow when we're doing a live improv like that that was pretty crazy this is what i miss when we do that craziness let my mind just continue to keep going down the rabbit hole so i want to thank you for inviting me here to give you some tips i am after all sensei round eye and if there's anybody who's going to get you on the right path you know for the fight against mike tyson piston honda over here he knows he's up against it and i get it piston i get it you look like you're ready to freaking you know do it you know i'm gonna bring out the boards for you to get kind of your focus together and chop a it. I want to see you chop a it. Look at Sensei Round Eye has been doing this for a very long time. Okay. Bruce Lee, I taught him everything he knows. And you guys are here questioning Round Eye, right? Like, what are we talking about? I didn't go, you know, to downtown China. And find a little boy named Bruce Lee and teach him everything he knows to be second guessed by freaking Piston Honda over here. You know? Like, are you good with that? Are you good with that? I don't think you should be good with that. <sighs> What's that? <laughs> I get it. You want to be the best. I'm sorry, there's only one best. His name was Bruce Lee, but that's because I trained him. Round eye. Look, when you have a statue, and you're in the Hall of Fame, Tabagachi. You know, you've got to go along for the ride and just say thank you, really. Um, you know, are you tooting? Like, what are you doing right now? I get it. You want to look pensive. You want to do the Piston Honda deal. 
it's working, I guess, but like, you also look like you're trying to drop a douche. And look, that's on you if you want to do a doucheroo. I'm just here trying to give you some tips for the big game. You know you're going up against Tong Po, right? Jean-Claude Van Damme and Tong Po, they're gonna be there. It's kickboxing, you know, and you want to be the winner because his brothers, in, you know, they got him, they kidnapped his brother. He's in a wheelchair too. So like, if you want to do the right thing, Spike Lee style, you're going to teach this guy how to take down Tong Po. And that's what I, you know, that's what I got from my elders. They said, look, Round Eye, we need you to bring it. We need you to bring the special sauce and give it to freaking Piston Honda. Because when he goes up against Mike Tyson and he wants to be, you know, the circuit leader, like circuit champion, you know, Piston Honda style, you're getting knocked down. Poor, poor little Mac, you know? Um, so guys, this is what happens when you're here. You're on the beach scenario and you're round eye, you know? Yeah, no, I can, I can go for a bite to eat after, you know? Look, when you go through a day of training as round eye, you know, and you're trying to help the, the karate community do their best, to maybe live in the lightest and the loosest form of a shadow of Bruce Lee. You know, one inch punch. I taught him that. Round eye. You want me to get in here and do it too? I'm doing it too. Look, round eye. Mm. When round eye gets in the position, though, do you see the difference? Like you, you're kind of like, oh, look, I'm over here like an urn. I'm ready to just give homage to the gods. You don't even have any like balls of the feet stuff going on. Watch round eye. Watch what round eye does. Ready? Ha! You got to be ready. You know? Because what if you're doing this? Oh, oh. And someone comes to ah, like this little kick out of your freaking feet. <laughs> you know? You weren't ready for it. You were doing a, oh. You got to be in the, oh, position. You know? Look, that's just a freaking round eye exclusive. You know what I mean? Sometimes people are wondering, like, where do you get all the information from round eye? I did it. You know? Like, sometimes you're just trying to get into it. And people don't. They, they, they can't grasp the experience that you had as Round Eye. <sighs> you know, they wrote books about me. Round Eye McGee. When I was there in the jungles of Szechuan, I had to see if I could jump in tree to tree. Round Eye! Round Eye! That's where I learned the wall position. I could have been like tree to tree, like, uh, uh, look at me, I'm going tree to tree. Look, I'm just losing the round, going tree to tree. I could have done that. You know? But instead, oh, I was ready to go in the position, always, to, you know, to grapple that tree, you know? You want to be ready to grapple that tree, just as if it's a, an enemy. So, you, I, I see you don't want to take my note. <laughs> Round eye. I'm here. I'm giving you the notes. I'm giving you the insights to be the greatest version of Piston Honda. And instead, you're just like, no, nah, I'm just going to stay like this. I'm doing this. I got my feet in the freaking sand. You got your head in the sand, you know? Round eye. I gave you tutelage. <sighs> you know, it's times like this that I miss Bruce Lee and the fact that he would listen. Yeah, he's always like, round eye, let me ask you a question. How would you go about one inch punching somebody? <laughs> Sit down, young lad, let me tell you all about it. As you get close to the guy and you're like, hold on, I'm on. And you just, boom, one inch punching him. And all of a sudden he's throwing through a freaking wall. You know, that's a round eye, like special move that you can only learn if you pay me $99.95 a day. And I'll bring you through the course of, uh, you know, the one inch punch special. It uh, costs you roughly $137,244.18 when we're all done. But you got a one inch punch! You know, like who's in, who's on? Who's in more? You guys got cash. I know it. You're not out here on the beach doing a, I want to be Bruce Lee, unless you got cash each in the bank, you know? Like everybody else is working. <laughs> You know, like, let me ask you something, Piston. 
who paid for this class for you to be with Round Eye today? I'm sorry? That's what I thought. You took it out of your freaking bank account because you're doing it. Because you're freaking cash loaded special. Like you got, you don't know what to do with all that cash, right? Give it to Round Eye. A one inch punch. When you tell your friends at the next party that you hired none other than Sensei Round Eye to teach you the one inch punch, talk of the town. You know, like you want me to talk of the town, right? Piston Honda, he's a pretty good fighter. You want people like Piston Honda's a bad motherfucker, you know what I mean? And you can't do that unless you let them know that you've been expertly trained by the master, Sensei Round Eye. But yeah, no, I know you agree. <laughs> Look, you're still doing the stupid, like, stand up straight instead of squat thing, though. Like, I told you to do it. Oh, get in the position, you know? Like, what is this? And what about you back here? Like, what the fuck are you doing with that stupid face on? You know? It looks to me like you're about to cry back there. You're going to cry. There's no crying in your Sensei Round Eyes freaking class. All right? I'm here teaching you how to be the greatest karate master. You bet he's one of your freaking you like traits to be the cry guy? Eh, look at me! I'm crying while I do my stupid move! That's you! You know? Look, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to get down on you or anything, but like Sensei Round Eye has a very, very important detail you have to keep at forefront at all times. When you're in a fight, you don't show the guy on the other side you're gonna cry! Mm -hmm. Round eye, you know, when you're doing it and you got a cry face on, tears streaming, someone's kicking you in the freaking throat, you know? I mean, like, that's just a given. <gasps> oh my, let me grab my tissues. Blah, neck chopped, you know? Look, round eye is trying to get you guys prepared for the Chinatown war. You know, Kurt Russell is coming back. Big trouble, little China. When you're there, and all of a sudden they're looking for a girl with green eyes. What are you gonna do then, right? You're not ready to take on Lopan? A girl with green eyes. He's there doing it. And you're, you're not ready to take it on? They get her. They get the girl with the green eyes. Now you gotta go dragons and all up against freaking Lopan. He's nine feet tall. He floats. Underworld, you know? And that's also on you. Cause you could have done the right thing. And instead, you're like, mm, I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> Unreal. Unfreaking real. What's that? No, I'm you think I'm being hard on you guys? Are you freaking kidding me? I'm round eye! I didn't get to be round eye by taking it easy on the class, okay? You think Bruce Lee would have been Bruce Lee if I didn't give him a freaking round eye elbow in the freaking round eye neck? Special? <sighs> Bruce Lee. Mm. You know, that was a student right there. Never questioned round eye. What can I do next, round eye? What do you want me to do next, round eye? I'll tell you. Just do that. He did it. And look what happened. Greatest of all time. You over here questioning everything. Questioning my motives. Why are you doing this instead of this? Well, because this looks freaking stupid. You look stupid like this. You should be like this. Well, let me ask you a question. Let's just, let's just play devil's advocate that your eh is good. What, oh, what happened there? See, you didn't even see Round Eye. I came with the Round House. You know, I'm roundhousing it. You're piston hondaing it. You got a freaking just big black and blue on the side of your face. But you were ready, right? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You weren't ready. Now you try it. Ready? Oh, no! See, I'm ready to go. I give you an elbow in the freaking throat. <sighs> Round eye. You know, sometimes when you're in the middle of teaching the class, and you gotta make an example out of one of the students. That's what Round Eye has to do in order to keep control of the class. You know, I'm sorry it's you today, Piston. 
I actually thought you were going to be a good student. I thought you were going to be one of my favorites, really. Like, uh, you put your hand up every day? Like, I I'd say something like, so uh, what do you think hurts more, an elbow in the freaking neck or someone kicking you in the side of your face as hard as they can? And I thought you'd be the one every day, Piston. would be like, oh, oh, I got an answer. And I'd be like, which one is it? You see, neither. I kick him right in the chest as hard as I can. And then he, you know, he croaks. That's what you should say. But you didn't even say any of that. You're just like, mm -hmm. and you're freaking doing the weird stance again. I'm just, I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting my breath here, guys. You know, I told this guy what he should do. I'm also, this is like a group message. When I tell Piston one thing, I'm telling all of you, okay? I'm sorry, Piston. I didn't mean to go in chest area on you. I'm telling you all, okay? Especially dummy back here with the freaking cry. Stop crying, okay? Seriously. Don't make me call your mother. Can I ask you just... <clears throat> Side note question, really. Who paid for your service back there, Smiley McGee? <clears throat> all right. Trust fund. I told you. That guy's a trust fund back there. He's just freaking cash and pulling the truck. You know what you could do is you could just deposit those funds directly into Sensei Round Eye's account, learn the one inch punch, and perhaps that will cause you to stop crying like a little baby. Just saying. Round Eye. You know, when you're in the process of hiring Round Eye for his extensive knowledge and experience, Right? Right? You got to take advantage of it. Every breath, every verb, every vowel, every noun, every sound. Round eye. You got to go home saying round eye. Like you getting home and you're taking a shower and all you're thinking to yourself is round eye. What a friggin' lesson that was today from round eye. You know, he really gave it to me. Like, Piston, if you're not going the rest of your day seeing yourself, I got it today for round eye in a positive way. Like, you know, really, seriously, you and dummy back here with the smile. The, mm, crying. I'm so sad because I had to go and punch someone. Excuse me. Round eye is going to teach you how to punch someone and not cry. Okay? Afterwards, you may actually feel like punching somebody else. You know? I'm just saying. Round eye will teach you how to do it without the fear of the crying. Anyway, guys, I'm getting kind of sick of the fact that I tell you what to do and you don't listen. Piston, work on the crouch, you know? You gotta get a little bit more leg movement in there. I don't see, I don't see any give in your knees. You ready to go? You know, like someone comes up, huzzah, 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 you do the knee at the end. Round eye, Did you tell, I'm telling you to do the knee, because then you get, you get the knee, and then it follow up with this elbow, woo, you know, and then that last you come around, kick him in the, you know, I'm just saying, as high as you can get, kick him in the chest, kick him in the chin, kick him in the ear, the ear is the worst place to kick somebody, that friggin' hurts, <laughs> again, just a little tip from round eye, okay, so, guys, I do appreciate the fact that you hired me today. 100K. I think 15 minutes was all you got. <laughs> yeah. You want a half hour? I would have done it for a mil. You know, I can't do more than 15 minutes. You know, just round I get sick of how stupid people like Piston are. There's still, look. Guys, right? What are we talking about? You know, I'm going to have to do a special on you. Like the guy who just doesn't get it, you know? I'd watch that one. I'm going to produce it. I'm going to watch it. I got nothing else to watch, you know? Round eye. You know, when you're round eye, it's hard to find entertainment, you know? Because you've done it all. Bruce Lee, one inch punch. And then you get freaking pissed on Honda. Anyway, listen, Piston, appreciate you. Not really. And you, stop freaking crying back there, 
Okay. Round eye out. It's freaking hot out here. All right. So we're going to just kind of go through the list here and see if you guys are prepared for your first match on Saturday against Reseda. You guys know that they're going to bring it. They got Machio as the coach on their side, and you know you got Sensei Round Eye, so you got an advantage. Bruce Lee, yeah, he could crane kick. I want him inch punch, do it Bruce Lee style. You guys are learning from the best. All right, um, so let's see if we can go through this, and I want to just gauge where we're going to put you. You know, this is an A to F grade system here. You know, you get an A or you get an F. <laughs> And you're, one of you guys is going up against Johnny, you know, he's like, get my body back! You know, like Johnny, you're like, that guy, you got to go up against him. So I want to know who's our strongest karate master in the bunch over here. What, which, which one? You know, you can't say the, the guy in the mask. Yeah, you can't say the guy in the mask. 